Welcome to this YouTube video. Today, we're discussing the murder of an eight-year-old schoolboy, Vishal Marotra, who went missing in July 1981. Nearly 42 years later, new evidence has come to light that could help solve the mystery of what happened to him. Unfortunately, the new evidence has not been pursued by police as much as it should have been, leading to criticism and confusion by the boy's family. Vishal's remains were found in Rogate, West Sussex, seven months after his disappearance. No one has been charged for his murder. Recently, a BBC podcast series titled, Vishal, Unearth fresh material that could link his case to a pedophile ring that operated in the area at the time. The material uncovered includes a document written in 1983 by a man convicted of child sexual offenses about a boy he was abusing. This document was created a year after Vishal's body was found near the home of this abuser. The offender who wrote the document was sentenced to 16 years in prison for 17 offenses. 10 of them being sexual abuse against young boys. The podcast also revealed other sexual offenders who may have been associated with the man convicted in 1998. However, when the police contacted these men, they reported that there was no evidence connecting them to Vishal's murder. Sean Keep, a former Scotland Yard detective, expressed his shock at the police's response to the new material and suggested that it fell short of the due diligence expected of an investigation of this stature. Vishal's brother, Sachin Marotra, shared his confusion about why the police have not done a formal reinvestigation of the crime and stated that his family has been fobbed off by them. Adding to the family's distress, they discovered that a major review of the case has only been conducted once since 1981 in contravention of the national guidelines that suggest a review every two years. The family is further concerned by the possibility of institutional racism playing a role in the police's mishandling of the investigation, although this is denied by the force. Sussex police maintain that they have investigated all the new leads regarding Vishal's murder. However, Sachin Marotra says that his family is owed a sincere effort, and that unless the police prove that everything that could have been done has been done, the family's suspicions of racism can only continue to grow. Although Vishal's case is unsolved, it still remains open, and the police have promised to tediously pursue any suitable lines of inquiry. They are dedicated to seeking justice for Vishal and his family, no matter how long it takes. We can only hope that one day Vishal's killer will be found and brought to justice.